section seventeen of the haunted hour an anthology by margaret widmer this is a librivox recording all librivox recordings are in the public domain for more information or to volunteer please visit librivox dot org recording by gloria begaman somerville south carolina my love that was so true part one one out of doors sarah platt a ghost is he afraid to be a ghost a ghost it breaks my heart to think of it something that wavers in the moon at most something that wanders something that must flit from morning from the bird's breath and the dew oh if i knew oh if i only knew something so weirdly wan so weirdly still o oh, yearning lips that our warm blood can flush follow it with your kisses if you will o oh, beating heart think of its helpless hush o oh, bitterest of all to feel we fear something that was so near that was so dear no no he is no ghost he could not be something that hides forlorn in frost and briar something shut outside in the dark while we laugh and forget by the familiar fire something whose moan we call the wind whose sound but as raindrops in our human ears sailing beyond seas jean ingelow methought the stars were blinking bright and the old brig's sail unfurled i said i will sail to my love this night at the other side of the world i stepped aboard we sailed so fast the sun shot up from the bourne but a dove that perched upon the mast did mourn and mourn and mourn o oh, fair dove o oh, fawn dove and dove with the white white breast let me alone the dream is my own and my heart is full of rest my true love fares on this great hill feeding his sheep for a i looked in his hut but all was still my love was gone away i went to gaze in the forest creek and the dove mourned on apace no flame did flash nor fair blue reek rose up to show me his place o oh, last love o oh, first love my love with the true true heart to think i have come to this your home and yet we are apart my love he stood at my right hand his eyes were grave and sweet methought he said in this far land oh is it thus we meet o oh, maid most dear i am not here i have no place no part no dwelling more by sea or shore but only in thy heart o oh, fair dove o oh, fawn dove till night rose over the bourn the dove on the mast as we sailed fast did mourn and mourn and mourn betrayal aylan kilmer four hundred times the glass had run and seven times the moon had died since my lover rode in his silver mail away from his new-made bride a ghost light gleamed in the field beyond and a wet wet wind blew in from the sea when out of the mist my own true love came up and stood by me my heart leaped up that had been still my voice rang out that had been sad till my sister left her busy wheel to see what made me glad she saw my arms about his neck she saw my head upon his breast oh why did my sister hate me so that she would not let me rest loud then laughed my cruel sister false and fair of face was she oh that is never your own true love for he lies dead in a far country 
i loosed the clasp of my clinging arms and his shining face grew still and white my tears ran down like bitter rain as i watched him fade from sight may the salt sea bury me in its waves may the mountains fall and cover my head since i had not faith in my only love when he came back from the dead the true lover a e hausman the lad came to the door at night when lovers crowned their vows and whistled soft and out of sight in shadow of the boughs i shall not vex you with my face henceforth my love for a so take me in your arms a space before the east is gray when i from hence away am past i shall not find a bride and you shall be the first and last i ever lay beside she heard and went and knew not why her heart to his she laid light was the air beneath the sky but dark under the shade oh do you breathe lad that your breast seems not to rise and fall and here upon my bosom pressed there beats no heart at all oh loud my girl it once would knock you should have felt it then but since for you i stopped the clock it never goes again oh lad what is it lad that drops wet from your neck on mine what is it falling on my lips my lad that tastes like brine oh like enough tis blood my dear for when the knife has slit the throat across from ear to ear twill bleed because of it under the stars the air was light but dark below the boughs the still air of the speechless night when lovers crowned their vows haunted g b stuart when candle flames burn blue between the night and morning i know that it is you my love that was so true and that i killed with scorning the watchdogs howl and bay i pale and leave off smiling only the other day i held your heart in play intent upon beguiling a little while ago i wrung your soul with sighing or brought a sudden glow into your cheek by low soft answers in replying my life was all disguise a mask of feints and fancies i used to lift my eyes and take you by surprise with smiles and upward glances and now where'er i go your sad ghost follows after and blue the flame burns low and doors creak to and fro and silent grows the laughter the white moth sir arthur quiller couch if a leaf rustled she would start and yet she died a year ago how had so frail a thing the heart to journey where she trembled so and do they turn and turn in fright those little feet in so much night the light above the poet's head streamed on the page and on the cloth and twice and thrice there buffeted on the black pane a white-winged moth twas annie's soul that beat outside and open 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 cried i could not find the way to god there were too many flaming suns for signposts and the fearful road let over wastes where millions of flaming comets hissed and burned i was bewildered and i turned oh it was easy then i knew your window and no star beside look up and take me back to you he rose and thrust the window wide twas but because his brain was hot with rhyming for he saw her not but poets polishing a phrase show anger over trivial things 
and as she blundered in the blaze towards him on ecstatic wings he raised a hand and smote her dead then wrote that i had died instead the ghost walter de la mare who knocks i who was beautiful beyond all dreams to restore i from the roots of the dark thorn am hither and a knock on the door who speaks i once was my speech sweet as the birds on the air when echo lurks by the waters to heed tis i speak thee fair dark is the hour ay and cold lone is my house ah but mine sight touch lips eyes yearn in vain long dead these to thine silence silence still faint on the porch break the flames of the stars in gloom groped a hope-wearied hand over keys bolts and bars a face peered all the gray night in chaos of vacancy shone not but vast sorrow was there the sweet cheek gone end of section seventeen